Um, it comes. Um, oh, there we go. This gives it a little bit of a glow. This gives it a little bit of a glow. Just let your soul glow. Just let it shine through. But that price point, he's. Yeah. My name is Andrea. If you're new here and if you are, feel free to hit that subscribe button down below. And to my OG subscribers, thanks for tuning back in and welcome back to another video. Okay guys, so I am back with another haul and today is really exciting because we have some CB2 dupes, we have some Burt Decor dupes, and just some stuff I feel like you need to be looking out for in home goods. So let's hop right on in. So if you recall, in my last video, I told you guys about this black marble arch from CB2 that I wanted really, really bad, but it was way too, it was way too expensive for me. Like I didn't want to pay that much money for it. And then it finally went on sale. And then they did this weird thing where they're like, oh, order it, but pick it up in the store. But then there's like no stores around to get it. Yeah, so I kind of just forgot about that piece, you know, just charge it to the game. That's just something you're not going to be able to get. It's not meant to be, but oh ye of little faith. I actually have a lot of faith though. Like, I'm really, really big on faith. I just lost faith in that piece, but I was in Home Goods one day and I was just skimming, like literally wasn't shopping. I just did like a little peruse through the store and... Loud, ta -da, watch out now. It's the little one and it's not <laughs> Bow Wow. <laughs> this was sitting on the top shelf. It wasn't hidden behind anything. I saw it and was like, Shh, give me that. Give me that shit back, man. <laughs> I grabbed it so quick <laughs> it wasn't even funny so it's this marble um disc or i think i'd rather call this a ring because the disc i feel is flat yeah this is more of a ring on a stand i actually had a piece like this in a previous haul which we'll get to that next um because i found something a little bit better but i'm just in love i don't have a lot of black marble here in my space but it actually is one of my favorites my top is viola calicutta marble love that all day every day next is black marble and then green and so forth and so forth that's not important but yeah I have um, a plinth table that I found a marketplace and I have this little marble ball that I have here on my console table and this adds to my collection I'm so excited to have it it literally you guys know this can fit anywhere um, it comes <laughs> Well, my other ones came off the stand. This one is stuck on here for some reason. Um, oh. <laughs> there we go. So it comes off the stand. So if I want to do something different with this, I can. If I want to just sit it down on a table just for a little bit of a different shape or add some level and some height to a book, I can. And oh, I'm just so, so excited. It was $24.99. Could not beat it. And... I was looking online at these little marble um, rings, that's what we said we're gonna call them. Online, they're like hundreds of dollars, y'all. Like, granted, they're a little bit bigger. This is about like eight and a half by eight and a half, I think is what I measured, but literally <laughs> like 300, 400, $500. Mm. So $24.99, y'all know what to do. Throw it in the bag. I love this piece so much and literally name a place where this wouldn't fit. Don't worry, I'll wait. You can't. It fits everywhere. Bookcases, bookshelf, console table, kitchen sink. Well, not in the sink, but around. Y'all get the point. This is very versatile. It's gonna fit everywhere and oh, my little favorite little baby. Well, it's not my favorite because I don't have favorites, but this was one of my favorite finds in the haul. Okay, so in my last, I think it was my All Things Marble haul, I shared this piece. The piece. 
I shared this piece with you guys and still love it. We still love her, right? But if you notice, this is very muted. There's like no veining whatsoever anywhere on this, which is fine. Very minimal. You still get the marble. But I was in Home Goods and I found her. I'm gonna call this her half sister because they probably have different dads. But I found this one. And I'll try to put a close up on the side of the screen, but this one has a lot of variation. Well, not a lot, but it has some variation in it. So it has um, like these little warm tones, some little splashes, gives it a little bit of a glow. This gives it a little bit of a glow. Just let your soul glow. Just let it shine through. And I just thought this was so good. I'm probably, I was telling myself I was gonna return the other one, but I'll probably just keep it and do something different with it. But I just love it so much. I love mixing like cool and warm tones cause it doesn't keep you in a box. And also, if you recall, um, in one of my hauls, I shared a marble bowl. Actually, let me get it for you. Okay, so I shared this bowl with you guys, and these actually complement each other really well. I've told you guys before, I really don't like to decorate identically. I like them to be like sisters or like cousins, so they kind of look alike, but they're not the exact piece. And I think these are perfect if you have like two different bookcases, which I plan to do in my other room. Um, I can have this one on one bookcase where it has, you know, that little bit of that gold in there goldish brownish caramel and then I can put this on the other bookcase so they kind of correlate with each other you know you gotta coordinate you gotta coordinate uh huh most people don't coordinate so you got to coordinate yes that's what you did <laughs> so they complement each other but they're not the exact same piece but you still get the same color payoff so yeah so so excited about this in case you missed the memo mushroom lamps are very trendy right now you see them all over Pinterest all over Instagram in our big box company stores and some of the top-notch interior designers use them in their spaces and I'm here for it now normally I don't really do a lot of trendy things unless I feel like it's something I'm gonna like long term. You sure? However, this is something that I feel like is going to be in my home for a long time so I don't mind investing in it. I saw this lamp at CB2 and instantly fell in love with it. It's a muted tone, it's limestone, it's like a statement piece but still muted, like all of my favorite things. But that price point, yeesh. Yeah. $500 for a lamp, oh my gosh. And I'm not gonna lie, I ain't even gonna hold you. I was gonna buy it. I really was gonna buy it. But what kept me from getting it was the wait time. Like, it's back ordered until October, and I don't know about y'all, but I'm, I'm just not doing that. Because by then, I would have forgotten about me even buying it, and if I haven't gotten it, I, that's just $500 out the window that I forgot about, right? So, I went on Google and just, you know, searched mushroom lamp. Got a whole bunch of different stuff, like from different stores, different vendors. After sifting through a whole bunch of different ones, I found this one from Walmart and I'm so excited about it. I did not know that Drew Barrymore did a collab with Walmart. Like, that, I never saw that. Apparently it was like a couple years ago and um, it's called Flower Home. Looking at the whole Flower Home, you know, Drew Barrymore collection is really not my style. It ain't my thing. I was there in my presence to support her, but that's not my thing. Like, a lot of those things are very colorful and just not my aesthetic. Still beautiful, just not my thing. Um, but I can get jiggy with this lamp. Like, this is it. So I'm not even mad about the bronze color, but we all know what Andrea's gonna do. I'm gonna spray paint this and then go over it with lime paint to give me more of that CB2 lamp in this. This was only, I think I paid around $70 for it and that's a steal <laughs> in order to get the shape um, and I'm just really excited about it. I'm gonna make it look more like the stone ball that, I, hold on, I, I, let me bring it up to you guys. Oh, shoot. So this is a stone ball that I shared with you guys um, 
a couple hauls ago and it's from Zara Home. This is the texture and tone I'm gonna go for with the lamp. So it's really gonna give stone, but it's not stone. You see what I'm saying? So yeah, I think it's gonna come out bomb. I'm gonna put it in my little office nook that I am going to be sharing with you guys really, really soon. As soon as I figure out the floating shelf situation and yeah, just look out for that video. Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss it. But yeah, I'm really, really excited about, oh, this is the piece we're talking about. Let me finish that down. So like I was saying, this was only about $70 on sale. I think normally it's around 100, um, but I got it on sale, on clearance. I will link it down for you below. Um, and yeah, just really excited to spray paint this and get the look for less. Okay, so next I have a candle. So I haven't really shared that many candles with you guys lately because lips you would have sugar church. Home goods, I don't know. They just haven't been hitting like they used to. They don't really carry the brands I usually like um, that much anymore and not even the scents. But when I saw this one, I had to get it. I grabbed two of them. It is in the scent Santal and I love that scent. I actually have the Aromatech um, Santal oil for my oil diffuser and it smells so good just like a hotel. Honestly, I'm thinking about gifting myself the Le Labo Santal uh, a concrete candle for Christmas. It is $500. You crazy as hell. That's why I said I might be gifting it to myself for Christmas. I just have to get over that price point. But in the meantime, this is a great replacement um, just to kind of appease me. If I don't want to, you know, diffuse my oil, I can light a candle and set the mood, give it some ambiance. It's just, it's just really, fr it's just fresh and pleasant. Like it's a very pleasant smell. It's not too overbearing, but it just makes you feel like serene and calm. Like, it's so good. And it's by the brand Treo, Trio, however you pronounce it. I love the packaging. It's like this matte, dark, well you can see it, but I love that it's dark and it's matte and it's like this dark gray with a purple undertone. It's very, very pretty. The text is very minimal and sleek. So it's gonna fit perfectly in my spaces. And I just love it. It smells so, so good and <sighs> I can't, I like, can't stop smelling it. I'm actually gonna go get some more because this is actually really good. And it was only $16.99, which isn't that bad. And yeah, this thing say bougie parfume on it. Par parfum, parfumey, par whatever. It's also hand poured premium essential oils in it. So get this if you see it at home goods. And last but not least, this is a repeat. I talked about this in my bedroom tour, but I thought she deserved a proper introduction in a haul. It is this eucalyptus candle that I found at Home Goods. It was, I don't have the price on here anymore, but I'm pretty sure it was only $14.99. What I love about it is the green color, first of all, because it's not artificially green. Do you know what I mean? Like some candles can look very green, like very, neon or lime and summery. So that's what I mean by artificially green. That rhymed. Bars. Bars. This isn't giving this. This is giving like forest earth tone green and I love it. Also, I love that it doesn't have a sticker. It actually has like a plate, like a bronze brassy plate on it that says eucalyptus and it looks very designer because of the way you know they describe the candle here at the top the way they have the text at the top it just is everything it's so top notch it looks so good so yeah pick this up if you see this in home goods if you love eucalyptus you'll love this candle because did i mean that's what it smells like and yeah. Okay guys, that is it for me today. Thank you so much for tuning in and spending some time with me. I'm so excited about the finds I have. I'm so excited to have you here. Thank you for 3,000 subscribers and we are growing from there. It's just, uh, it's just, I love it. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button and become part of the family. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any videos. And while you're here, why not watch another one? I'll link one of the screen for you for your convenience. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. Take care of yourselves, those around you, and your mental health. And I will see you guys in my next video. But until then, peace out.